Yes, the 2019 Lion King remake directed by Jon Favreau, who previously directed the 2016 Jungle Book. It makes sense I'd be doing a review of this given my interesting history with the original Lion King, which is one of my favorite films ever. Oh, and I've also done all sorts of videos on that movie sequels and most of the episodes of its TV spin-off The Lion Guard. I'm pretty sure I have Simba blood in my DNA. Seriously, please send help! Anyway, this photorealistic take on the iconic royal savannah feline tale has been met with a mixed reaction from both fans and critics alike. What did I think of it? Well, let's dive into it, shall we? Okay, so the first and most obvious element that this adaptation has going for it is its visual style. Going for a photoreal approach to make every creature, blade of grass, and even patch of dirt feel as lifelike as possible, and it is gorgeous to witness. Favreau and his effects team really took what they learned from Jungle Book and expanded upon it. I look at this movie and I feel as if I have stepped into the African savanna. I also like the fact that the characters look like realistic animals this time around. I know many people have talked about the lack of expression coming from these CG animals, but, well, it's meant to feel like actual nature. Real animals like lions and birds and hyenas don't necessarily emote as much as we humans do. It gives this new version a differentiation from the original movie, which considering the factor that, yeah, most of this movie follows the same story beats as the original with some additions to make it stand out, such as Nala having a slightly bigger role as we see that she goes off to look for help after Scar assumes the throne, Zazu is much more keen to assist in not being held prisoner this time around, and even the hyenas get a change in being less fur-brained and more scary, especially Shinzi, who is in this movie the hyena leader. Yeah, that's an upgrade there. I also don't really have any complaints regarding the acting. James Earl Jones as Mufasa, while certainly showing his age somewhat, is still as noble as you remember. Chiwetel Ejiofer is very commanding as Scar, Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen, they practically steal the show as Timon and Pumbaa with the most hilarious moments, most of which were improvised from what I hear. Those guys have mad comedic skills and great chemistry to boot. J.D. McCrary and Shahadi Wright Joseph's voice work as young Simba and Nala is awesome, easily among the best youth acting I've seen in a Disney movie thus far. These two have a bright future ahead of them. Then we have Donald Glover and Beyonce as adult Simba and Nala. They're both terrific here, and I really wish we could have heard and seen more of them together. The musical numbers you remember from the original are remastered flawlessly and performed beautifully. Yeah, I even enjoyed the new and more menacing, if a bit short, version of Be Prepared. There's even a couple of new songs performed by Beyonce and Elton John respectively, and I love them both with all my Hakuna Matata heart. Oh, and Hans Zimmer's score is brilliantly composed, but he's Hans Zimmer. Did you really expect anything less? Are there any flaws? Sure. Sometimes the film would slow down and speed up at various points, and sometimes it could feel awkward seeing realistic looking animals like these being placed in moments with heavy emotion and drama, and they don't necessarily showcase expression, in the face at least, but again, it's meant to be like nature, and gorgeous nature at that. And really, the body language of the animals and how they carried themselves was more than enough for me to look past the facial expression in various scenes. Overall, with wonderful performances, dazzling effects work, and a massive blend of heart, humor, and hubris, Jon Favreau's The Lion King is a tremendously dignified, photorealistic-looking counterpart to its masterclass animated counterpart. Sure, it may be off-putting to some because of its less lively and more naturalistic vibe, and if you find personally that you didn't like this remake, it's fine. Think what you will. Just remember that, like the Lion King Broadway musical, this photorealistic retelling is just another version of this classic story that will no doubt continue being enjoyed by future generations. And hey, we still have the original movie to rewatch again and again, same as this one. I think we can learn to live with the existence of this remake. It's just a part of the circle of life, people. As for me, I really enjoyed this remake and can't wait till I see it again. Two paws up, long live the king. You must take your place in the circle of life. Oh, on a side note, y'all seen the latest promo pics for Lion Guard Season 3? It looks epic. Thanks for listening, everyone, and I'll see you in the Pride Lands. Bammy Man out. Peace!
Live action movie. Can we keep him? Can we please keep him? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I promise. I'll walk him every day. If he makes a little mess, I'll clean it up. You'll I'll be his little mess. He's gonna eat you and then use my body as a toothpick. But